Hello everyone, I am Mohammed Anish Khan and I am iOS, Android and React Native Engineer. This video is about setting up React Native environment as this is the first step towards learning React Native. To learn React Native, first and foremost thing is you need to set up your environment. Environment means you need to set up your system that may be that will be compatible towards React Native coding so it's pretty simple you just need to follow the Facebook's official react native document the link of which I will be providing you in the below in the comment or you yourself can also find but the purpose of this video is to let you know the terms what they actually mean without wasting a time let's begin to search the uh, Facebook's react native document you just need to type react native and most probably the first link that you will be getting will be of facebook's official react native you can see the link it says https facebook dot github dot io slash react native in this page you will you will be seeing two buttons one says get, get started and second says learn the basic you have to click on get started over here again you find two button quick start and building project with react native or native code this takes you to the guidelines or oh, that let you know what are the basic installing dependencies to set up the environment as it mentioned over here the development OS means for for Mac OS what are the dependencies for Windows if you have a Windows system and for Windows you have to target Android only so for and Windows and Android what are the dependencies that you need to install for Linux uh, what are the dependencies only Mac OS with the Mac OS you can target both the both the OS means both the mobile applications. The real power of the React Native can only be enjoyed in Mac system uh, as you can install both Xcode and Android Studio with the Mac OS. So this is the link. I have my uh, presentation ready to let you understand what the terms that they are telling you over here in the Facebook document so let's follow the presentation part so uh, if the if my friends are having the system or Mac OS system so what they need to do is first they need to is install homebrew what is the homebrew homebrew is a package manager of OS X you must be thinking what the package manager is actually package manager is a set of software tools it automates the installing, compiling, arranging, managing of all those folders packages for you. It automates the management of the folder structure for you. Install it installs it it downloads automatically for you. Okay. So first and foremost thing for Mac OS guys you need to do is install Homebrew. And you must be thinking from where you, how should I install Homebrew? Here's a link. In fact, you will. Uh, they are also providing the link over here, like Homebrew. Okay. So next, once your Homebrew is ready, then with the help of the Homebrew, the brew over here signifies that you have installed Package Manager Homebrew. Okay. Then you need to install Node and Watchman using Homebrew. Now Node. It's, it's simple node is node.js that you're going to gonna use or uh, then what the watchman is watchman is a tool that is developed by facebook for watching the changes in the file system it is highly recommendable you to install it for a better performance means watchman is like a tracker okay means they recommend you to install it but it's in your choice you know you can install the you can keep it optional like you can install watchman or you or if you don't want 
it's not a problem it, it will not affect your react native environment watchman is basically just to monitor the functioning of the react native that is happening in your system okay node.js is important now what the node.js is i have also tried to explain what the node.js is, is over here node.js is an open source cross, uh, cross platform javascript runtime environment for developing a diverse variety of server tools and application okay so node.js is our basic okay basic route over which the react native is going to mount okay once you are you have installed homebrew then you have installed your node.js with the help of homebrew and watchman as i told you is optional then the next thing you are need to do is you need to install react native cli C cli means command line interface okay so you have to write c npm npm is a node package manager okay it's a short form and it shows that you have installed node okay with the help of the node npm you are going to install what cli so how you are going to install cli you have to write npm install slash g g is for global react native cli this will set up the cli in your system and for and the next part is you can install the different tools like xcode or android studio and android in studio or you can also install the open source tools for react native coding like uh, many other many other tools are there like nuclide atom i'll let you know about them so this was for mac os guys now wait 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 wrong turn yeah now if you are if you have a windows system so what you're not gonna do you also have your package manager and your package manager is called chocolatey the name is quite interesting so chocolatey is a package manager as i told package manager is a set of software tools that automate the downloading managing installing and uh, you know the installing of the folders dependencies it automates okay so for that purpose you need to you need a package manager so package manager for windows is chocolatey and for our mac os is homebrew so you have to download your package manager chocolatey once you have downloaded your package manager then you need to download the node.js and the instruction for the node.js is these are the things that you need to inst write in your terminal sorry i forgot to tell you about that you just need to open your term uh, i need to open your terminal and write those things like install chocolatey and then and then you need to write choco install node.js okay after after installing your node.js you need to install choco install python 2 okay once these things are set up then again the same step as we have done in mac os you need to install your react native cli and for that you have to write uh, the node package manager with short for uh, package manager npm installed slash g slash g means global react native cli it will automatically install your command line interface after it you have only one choice in windows like that is android studio so just install android studio and its dependencies and for the guys who have linux so for linux for linux and windows guys you have only one uh, mobile os okay to target that is android and for mac os guys you have you can target two mobile os that is android and ios so for linux again uh, first and foremost foremost is that uh, that you need to install your what node uh, as there are number of distribution linux distribution and so so you need to find that which linux distribution you are using means whether it's ubuntu fedora uh, 
whichever distribution you have so it has the they have their own package manager you have to first of all install your relevant package manager and then you have to set up and install your node.js and again the third and the fourth step is same in all three platforms that is to install your react native cli once you have node.js in the system and then the tool install android studio and its dependency so this was about setting up the environment so in crux 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 sorry i misspelled it oh as i to as i just in short or you first the thing that you need is first is package manager okay first you need to install a package manager then node.js then you need to install your react native cli and then the tools in which uh, tool means the ids integrated development environment in which you are going to install uh, in which you are going to code okay so for linux and android um, windows you have only one tool that is android studio means there are many tool uh, ids available for windows and linux but m most mostly android studio is basically used for uh, these android development eclipse is also being used but android studio is, is a you know is majorly used and in for mac os you have you can target two two like two or i mean to say two mobile os so you have options you have options like xcode for ios android studio for android you can install both of them in that so this is how you're going to set up the environment so i hope you will be able to do it and i'm going to give the glimpse of the links from where you can download the some of the open source and top most ids that are being used for react new development the first in this race is atom okay atom so this is the link for atom i will be sharing you this link in the in the comment if you wanna uh, it is it is open source for react native development okay next is nucleoid it's the second most uh, second most popular and then comes your sublime it it these tools just be uh, all all depend on your taste of coding okay and the last not the last but the fourth most fourth top is this visual vs code okay and i am using this vs code it's pretty good but it all depend on your choice of which you want most of the programmers or developers use atom most use nucleid as nucleid is being used by facebook also uh, vs code is by microsoft but it's, it's awesome it's awesome so that that that's all about uh, setting up the environment from the next uh, video i will be i'll be just uh, doing the coding in vs code and letting you know how to dive into react native that's all thank you